This video is sponsored by Catapult. Hello Zebrahood, welcome to Zebra's Arcade, a series where we try a new game every episode. Today, we're trying Monomals. Monomals is a super interesting music collection game. Basically, we dive into a world of music, we catch different monomals, we use them to compose new music, and then we can compete with the rest of the world with the music that we make. It's super unique and it's super colorful, and I'm really excited to show it to you guys. So with that being said, let's get started with monomals. Hi, Groovy Pets, you're watching Monomals Music Match Live on M3. As always, I'm your host, MC Scratch, and right now I'm adrift in Retro Reef next to Retro Rabbit. This Retro-tastic rabbit is our first contender, and he's well-equipped with the right gear to fish. So this is Retro Rabbit, age 21. The gear is the Retro Rod and Mono Plug. The music style is chiptunes and synthwave. He's a fan of old school games and popcorn. Location, Retro Reef. That's right, all contenders use a controlled mono plug to fish for monomals, the wackiest musical critters. Monomals are well hidden in carefully crafted courses full of challenges. Your goal is to catch all the monomals and use their sound to create awesome music. Whoa. After all, this show is all about becoming the best musician, so let's dive right in. All right, let's go to it. Let's reel in some music. Boosty beginnings. Okay, well this seems interesting. I love the art style of this game so far, it's really colorful. Use the left analogs to swim in the water. Whoa, <laughs> I like it. Wow, it's really pretty. Press A or B button to use the boost. So let's get these coins first, but then we can boost through the blocks, no problem. Gotta go this way. Grab some of those. Whoa, okay, whoa, here's a monomal. Or something, he's a big fish. And I guess there may, might be some coins that are hidden inside. There we go, got through that guy. So we'll have to look around a lot if you want to find everything. But on the top right, it looks like there's a timer going down, so I'll have to be quick about this. Uh, we'll go over here. Checkpoint, awesome. So hopefully if we run out of time, it's not too big of a deal. Uh, hold the A or B button to boost longer and make higher jumps out of the water. All right, got it. What about over here? Whoa, look at that. That was cool. So what's that big red coin up there? We're about to find out. Nice. Okay, so far so good. Whoa, got another one. So it looks like on the top left, there's four of those in total to collect. Gotta watch out for that guy. <laughs> I missed a couple of coins, but I think that's all right. What is this about? Whoa, okay, so I can hit this a certain number of times. Gotcha. That was pretty cool. Oh, so when your spikes are gone, I can slam through ya. This is a lot of fun so far. I'm getting the idea. Okay, boom, hit that. Knock this down. And then maybe, yeah, do a bit of that. Oh gosh. Okay, gotcha. Whoop, and then slam down. Whoa, that was cool. So what is this person saying? Uh, when the tip of your plug emits blue light in midair, press the A or B button again to perform a double jump. Okay. So I gotta, do I have to go in here? I guess I have to, uh... oh, I didn't complete the time trial. Okay, well that sort of sinks, but not the end of the world. I guess maybe this block that I put in here, I was supposed to get up there. Interesting, so I didn't get them all, that's okay. But this is cool, so there's levels to play through and you have different collectibles and different challenges and stuff. Oh, I missed them. Uh, you're almost there, plug into the arena door and get ready for your first Monomo encounter. Oh, we plugged in. Oh, he's so happy. Oh, he's hitting the block, defeat them all. I'm on it. There we go, got that one. So we're gonna jump over real fast. Okay. Filling up with water a bit more. Oh, you get back here. Solve the puzzle. Okay, I think I see what's going on. I need to hit this over there and then a little bit up that way. There's our first one done. Now down here in the same deal, Oh, I gotta destroy these blocks first. Okay, so I sorta messed that up. I thought that would just destroy the box for me, but luckily it just goes back. That's convenient. 
So we can send that there, and then right down that way. Pretty cool. Oh, where's he going now? Oh, there's nowhere from the go. Let's get him. You get back here. <laughs> Whoa, got him. Nice, we plugged in. Catch. That's awesome. You called a Barabasa. Pretty cool. That's one out of seven. Booyah! You just caught your first monomal. The contest has now officially started, which means you've now unlocked the Maker, a new mode to compose music with the monomals. Come on, let's go check out the Maker. You found the Mono Maker. Great. In this composer mode, you can create your own songs. Ain't that cool? In this two minute tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to the basics of composing music. Sounds good, let's do this. So after you catch your monomal, you can use them to make music, creating a rhythm. Press A to place the monomal into the piano pool and complete the drum sequence. Okay, so I got this monomal right here. I can just place it. I'm guessing where the little outline is. Oh, I just have to click. Okay, got ya. Monomal's placed one out of four. Okay, where's the fourth one? Right over here. Great, now let's make this drum sequence a little bit more lengthy. Follow these next steps carefully. Draw a selection box. Press and hold A on an empty space in the piano pool and select all monomals. Okay, oh, I think I missed one back at the beginning. Gotcha. That's it, now let's copy and paste. Press the plus button to copy. Or not the plus button, okay, this little stamp. Now, press the stamp down button three times to paste your drum sequence up to four measures. Gotcha. You're doing great. Let's hear that, how that sounds. Okay, well, it seems like we have a pretty consistent drum. Hmm, this all alone sounds a little dry, huh? Let's check out the bass category. Press B to switch to the menu options. Okay, so I can switch down here to bass. Every monomal will sound different in each category. That's multiple sounds for the price of one. Doesn't that sound great? Whoa! Creating a bass line. Complete the full bass sequence in the piano pool. Notice how the notes are longer. Great, now press on the monomal again, and uh, which will bring up a menu. Drag the arrow to the right to create a longer note. Oh, okay, so if I grab this. Gotcha, so I'll make a longer note. And then the same thing will happen here. Great, let's hear it. Sounding pretty good, huh? <laughs> this is starting to sound groovy. I think it just needs a little melody and we're done. Let's check out the lead category. Okay, so we'll press B again and move over to lead. Now that sounds good. Creating a melody, complete the lead sequence in the piano pool. All right, great, let's hear it. Booyah, it sounds like you've composed your first song. You've got some mad skills going on there. Remember, songs are automatically saved on the My Songs tab in the menu. That's it for now. Try to collect more monomal so you have more sounds at your disposal. That is really cool. So, so as you can see, it's actually quite easy to make music with this game, which is really exciting for someone like me who loves music, but has never been too familiar with the tools that are used to make music. So this is really a fun way to jump into it. So with that being said, let's keep going. Okay, so we're gonna keep playing for now to see if we can't get some more monomals unlocked. So on this menu, I guess we could play. But what is this? We can shop for more. Gotcha. Welcome to the shop, shopping friend. With coins, you can purchase new features for the maker. And with the R coins, the DJ coins, gotcha. You can purchase decorations for your boat. So we collected a couple of coins in that level. As you can see, you can get like different effects and stuff. That is really cool. And then with the DJ coins, like they said, a little customizations for a boat. So I'll definitely try to save some of these up throughout today's video and maybe buy some towards the end. <laughs> I like that guy. And then back over here, what about you? To rank songs. Oh, so this is where we can see the hottest songs. 
So fresh to see you, and here you can submit your songs to the local Hot 99 chart. The Hot 99 chart can turn your songs into a gold, platinum, or the best, a diamond record. Songs will be rated based on the variety of monomals used in the composition. Better catch them all. One last thing, songs must be over 20 seconds long to be submitted to this chart. Are you ready to submit a song? Not at the moment, because we really haven't made our own just yet, but I'm glad that we sort of understand where all the menus lead now. So that's pretty cool. Let's go back into playing. So we have our Monodex here, where we got the Barabasa. Let's try for the second one and push him, pull him. All right. Really fun way that they're combining making music with this sort of adventure game in a way. Okay, so here we are in Push and Pull em. And I guess, oh wow, I see. So I can, as you can see, I push it or pull it. Okay, these two are going down. Gotcha. And can I push this, or I guess I gotta pull this one. Yeah, you can see a little bar in the background. That's as far as we can get it. Whoa. So we're out of the water right now. It's a little scary. Almost, whoa. Oh gosh, oh no, <laughs> messed that up a little bit, come on. Go, perfect. I right, just have to practice my control a little bit, but oh, we took some damage. That's not good. Checkpoint, glad to see it. Grab some of those. So we're already at the 24 coins. Whoa, you're new. See, when you hit the wall, you get dizzy. There you go. What about these blocks over here? Still looking for the DJ coins as well. I haven't seen any just yet. I'm sure they're waiting around somewhere. Okay, the plug for this one's on the other side. Whoa, oh my gosh, I was not ready for you. Get out of here. So this is a little tough. I can't quite get past there. But maybe I could do something with this? Oh, I wonder if I was supposed to get that whale enemy that was spinning at us. Maybe they were supposed to spin into those. Okay, well, a little too late for that then. That's all right. Can we slip in there? Oh no, there you go, get some extra coins for it. And, oh, here's another one. So this one we're definitely gonna get you to charge right into it, come on. Whoa, ow, okay, but it did work. <laughs> oh, we get ourselves one of the DJ coins. Once again, I didn't get the time trial, but that's not really what I'm focused on anyways. I'd rather replay the levels for the time trial. Whoa, so even just swimming past some things will sometimes get some coins to pop up like that. What is that? It was something. Huh, weird. Have to look around for more of those in the background. Oh, maybe this will do something? Whoa, okay. I guess it will. So that unlocks like a little secret. Gotcha, so hitting all four of these might be tough. Whoa. Come on. Right here, got it. And that gave us, oh, a bunch of coins. They're floating all over the place. Okay, almost got all of them. Two more. <laughs> Come on, there it is, awesome. So we have lots of coins. We should have, definitely should be able to buy something from the shop later. Ooh, and here's another secret, watch out. Huh. Oh, so I see, if we get this back over there, I think we'll, oh no, we'll be able to bounce up and find something extra. It's a lot of fun to look through to find all the secrets so far. Whoa, whoa, got it. There it is. Okay, we're out of here now. I gotta bring this back to the center so it can bounce out the normal way. Oh gosh. Okay. Whoa. I'm bouncing all over the place. So we got another checkpoint and more enemies bouncing around. Oh, so I wonder, oh, just barely got him. Okay, get out of here. I 
don't think there's any secrets on this side, so we're just gonna head up. Got it. Oh, just like that, that is interesting. So I think I'll need to, oh no, I'm falling. Bounce off of that. Oh, but I can't quite make it up now. Hmm. So maybe I shouldn't do that. Let's try lowering it again if I can. Oh, this is a tricky jump. Okay. Ready? Oh, almost. It definitely takes a bit of getting used to, but there we go. There is somebody up there. Oh, no. Ouch. Oh no, that is dangerous, yikes. Okay, so I finally got taken out. We lose a couple of coins for it. But at least we have that checkpoint, so it's, it's not too big of a deal. We're not too far back. Oh no, oh, okay, okay. Uh, I, can, I can do it, I can do it, there you go. That was scary. So what is going on with this? Oh, we have the monomal door again. Whoa, so this is a new one. Little octopus looking guy. Hit the buzzer. Where's the buzzer at? I don't know. So we'll find out. Oh, it's over there. So I can't just go that way. I think I'll have to hit this thing first. Oh no, yeah, let that be. Come on, almost there. Got it. Oh, and he's playing music. Just gonna go ahead and slam on this one. And now I'm not sure if I need that too much. Oh, I guess I do if I need to go back. Just gonna do that real quick. Really good. So it should be as easy as that. Should be able to let go of that one. Go up here and boom, we get ourselves our second monomal. So this time we unlock. Oh no, there's still more. Okay, I forgot that wasn't the, the, the only one we have to do. Defeat them all. Okay, uh, so they are bouncing all over the place. How do I wanna do this? I think I wanna sort of stop their path. Does this do that? No, it doesn't. Hmm. That's interesting. Same problem over here. Oh, but this one down this way. That's enough to get in their way. There's two of them down. And three, and four. Okay, where are you gonna run this time? Yeah, I thought so, let's go get him. Got it. So there we go, new model unlocked for real. You got it, real men. You caught an omnibus. Time trial not completed, that's okay. This is a really cool one. Okay, so now that we have two of them, it would be fun to try to make some music. So let's back out a little bit. Go back to Retro Rabbit. Oh wow, so we can get different characters as well. We have Funky Frog, Techno Tiger, Rocky Rhino. I love all their designs. So I guess if we get different monomals from different places, we can unlock these characters. Wow, okay. So I'll definitely have to keep that in mind. So if I unlock two more from Retro Reef, I can go to Funk Forest and then unlock this character in that area. Gotcha, that makes sense. All right, so we'll go back here for now. Because like I said, I want to sort of focus a little bit more on making some music. So back over this way, we can go to the music maker. We even have our settings and other things here as well. But uh, let's go to the music maker. So I'm willing to start with a whole new song here. Like I said before, I'm not much of a music maker, but I wanted to try the new monomal and see how that goes. So over here we have this one. And I should just be able to put him down. You can tell he makes sort of more of like a piano noise. So yeah, and then we could also try this guy a bit. You can see sort of the difference in their sound. But I could also make this like a little bit longer. So different little things like that, you sort of have to mess around with to see sort of what you're looking for. And I guess I'll just sort of take some time to sort of put a song together. So before I get started too much, I do wanna make it clear that I am not much of a musician. Um, I don't really know too much about music or how to make music. It's just not something I've done very much in my life, but I was able to sort of throw something together. As you can see, I have um, the lead, the drum, and the bass, and this just makes a couple seconds of a loop.
But what's really cool about this is that we can save this and we can add more to it as we're unlocking more monomals. And that's exactly what I plan on doing here. So I think for right now, we'll finish up there. That did take me a good couple minutes because you know, I was still learning how to use it and everything. And it's also making music requires a lot of experimenting. So with that being said, we're gonna hop back in and I want to try going for another level and unlocking another monomal. So for our third level here, we have Jelly Puddle. This looks interesting. So as we're getting farther in, we're also learning more mechanics to uh, the main game itself, which is also cool. If you're not super into making music, you could just play the game itself and enjoy that. All right then, so let's figure out what's going on in Jelly Puddle. So I guess if we get this big Jelly Puddle, we gotta sort of storm through. Gotcha. So supposed to go to the right. Oh, I'm out of the water right now. So let's just real quickly, if I can, check out what's going on over here. Got ourselves a little bit, but I think there might be a secret, yep, hiding for us right here. I could sort of tell, because it's sort of weird in the foreground. There we go. Now we're moving, starting to figure it out. Okay, so there's some fish over that way, but ooh, got some coins first. Hold on, let's jump back up there for those. Awesome. These guys are a little dizzy. <laughs> yeah, I guess, uh, oh, we can break through that. Whoa, that was cool. Oh gosh, uh, oh, this guy's trying to eat me. I don't like that. Uh, I'm guessing I shouldn't do that again. Let's try going up this way this time. We do get a checkpoint for it. So how do I get through this guy? I guess I just gotta be quick with it. Oh, I see. Gotta avoid his little jelly mouth. Sort of scary. Go, 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 go. Got it. All right, I'm sort of figuring it out now. Let's get back over here. I would like to jump out of this if I can. Grab a couple of coins. No, I missed them. Youch. Okay, let's not mess with it too much. If I miss a couple of coins, not the end of the world. Speaking of, you know, finding coins. Whoa, hold on. Oh no. Darn. I did see a coin up there, but ah, oh, it's too late. Luckily, we just hit a checkpoint. But you can see the levels are getting pretty tricky already. And it looks like we're about to run out of time for our time trial, but once again, not really what I'm going for, so I think that's okay. Okay, ready. Got it. Into here now. Got the coin. Wow. Let's try to be a bit sneaky. No problem. And, whoa, I missed. <laughs> there we go. So that was a cool little detour, I suppose. Hmm. You really have to explore the levels quite thoroughly if you want to find everything. There we go. Gotta get past this guy as fast as I can. Whew. There we go, watch out, Jelly Monster. Oh, let's grab that now, maybe? I don't know if that was a good idea. Ooh. So it looks like when I take damage, part of my little cord here becomes a bit translucent. I'm guessing that once that goes back to full normal color, I can take another hit. Okay, here comes the Jelly again. Avoiding that is definitely tricky, I can't, ah, oh, darn. So once you get caught up in it, you're sort of stuck. That's not good. I already got that one coin, but I might have to get it again. Oh no, I'm way back here. Yikes. Okay, so I guess now that I want the normal, I actually get a checkpoint. And over here, there's actually a little extra something. It seems to be a couple more coins. But the good news is that it doesn't seem like I have to worry. Oh no, I do not know how I get up to that. I don't seem to have to worry about recollecting those DJ coins though, so that's nice. Okay. Let's get past Simeon Jelly again. Ah, uh, scary. I'll grab some of those. Won't waste my time with it too much. There we go. But I do have to get that one. Okay, so maybe it's all the ones before the checkpoint or something like that. So if we really wanna get this one properly, I think we just wanna take this longer way around, but this is where it gets a little tough. I don't know how I'm avoiding this. Oh gosh. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Cause then I can, oh my. 
Grab that. And I don't know if I'm supposed to be going this way or not. Uh, well, there is stuff over here. Oh, whoa, there's a little cameraman in the background. Hey there, buddy. Okay, well, we got a checkpoint, so I can only assume we're sort of going one way that's correct. There's another one. Oh, gosh. Good stuff. So we're not getting this from this way. Whoa, I thought that was gonna go the other direction. So many spikes around now. Oh gosh, whoa, no! Oh man, the jumps are definitely a little bit to get used to. Cause it's so interesting. It's both a platforming game and a swimming game. Okay, oh gosh. Gotta jump over to the evil jelly. Uh, okay, we're fine, we're fine. There we go, we made it. And look at this over here. We got ourselves another entry point. So let's go get our third Monomo. Whoa, this guy looks cool. Hit the buzzer. Okay, buzzer's up there. So what I have to do here, I think. Yep. Let's go through that. Oh my. Almost, come on. Ah, oh, you're kidding. Ooh. Right there. Hit it. That was really close. He's gonna go down, we'll follow him. Collect them all. So with these purple coins to grab this time. They're all in the jelly again. Got it. This is the last one. There we go. Not too bad. I like his shades. All right, go get him. Ready, go, go, go. Nice. Okay, Monimal number three. That's a catch. You caught an Octavus. All right, looking good. So we can now go back to, uh, oh, wrong thing. Whoops, sorry. But we can actually head back now to our home and check out our new Monimal. So for this one, I might wanna just try the different music he can make first. So, so you can hear this one has sort of a different tone to it, which is pretty cool. That's for the lead. We can also switch over to the bass. I like that one, that's pretty good. Oh no, <laughs> not what I wanted to do. <laughs> so, uh, if you go ahead and delete that there. Just wanted to give it a little quick hearing. Quick hearing. You can go really deep too. And then we had the drum. Whoa, you can hear. I like that. Cause that's more of a kick, I think they would call it. Well, this is like a cymbal. That's cool. You can get sort of different feelings for different instruments depending on the monomal you have. So I feel like this is a great time to actually check out the community of the game because not only can you make your own music, but you can see other music other people are making. So that's really cool. You have top rated songs, weekly refreshed. Press A to preview the song and press Y to refresh last. So we can go over here. Pretty cool. Here's another one. So as you can see with that, there are people making all sorts of different genres of music all the time. So not only can you make your own music, you can share it with others and listen to their music as well. And then over this way, we have just songs that we've made. And obviously I haven't really made too much, but I'll keep working on it. Maybe we can get better over time. Uh, but I do wanna go to the shop and check out some stuff there. So if we go back to playing and go up here, we have the shop. 
So we're gonna spend some coins. We have different effects here. Like we have the delay effect or echo, whatever. This one repeats your sound, sound, sound. So you have different audio effects here, which could be pretty cool. We have reverb, chorus, vibrato, filter, crusher, and tremolo. So I'm not really sure which one we wanna go for. It could be cool to try some pitch stuff or like a reverb. Let's try the reverb one and then maybe a chorus effect. Okay, so I can't quite afford any more for right now, but that's fine. We'll try the that one. And then we could also buy some customizations for our boat. So we could do the joystick, the controller buttons, the speakers. Let's do the first one, the joystick. And then maybe this keyboard, the retro keyboard. So where did they show up on our boat, I wonder? Oh, there we go, there are the retro buttons, and there's the keyboard, pretty cool. And then back over this way, this is, uh, so fresh to see you in here, you can submit your songs. Yes, yeah, so I don't have songs that are too good to submit just yet. So as you can see, now that I'm back in my song, we can actually add reverb to certain tracks. So if I wanted to add reverb to the lead, um, I could go over here, I could, Click it again, as you can see, we can change the volume of this track, but also can change things like the groove, the ducking, and the reverb, which is what we just purchased. So we can put this all the way up. And you can hear how it sort of echoes, that's the reverb. Which is pretty cool, I love that effect a lot. So as you play, you're not only unlocking new abilities with the monomals, new music, new sounds, but you can alter the sounds with the stuff that you buy in the shop. There's so many ways you can add to your songs in this, and that's really cool. This is such an interesting, approachable way to make music, and as somebody who I personally consider myself creative, I think this is such a cool game. So I'd love to hear if you're interested in this game, if you'd like to see it turn into a full series, all that kind of stuff. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Zebra's Arcade. Thank you guys so much for watching. Watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.